You have a very small estate here, and yet we endure it. I have urgent business to attend to. A falsehood of the most scandalous nature has reached me. That you intend to be united with my own nephew, Mr. Darcy? I'm not. And will you promise me never to enter into such an engagement? I will make no such promise. Then I shall protect the dignity of a far superior man. Wilhelm. Do you still refuse to oblige me? as a warrior, we resolve as a woman. Cool. So, what an interesting take. I mean, you take Pride and Prejudice and then you add zombies. I mean, why do you think zombies added such an interesting element that, that Burry was interested in making this film like this? I don't know. I guess it's like just makes it better. <laughs> yeah. No I, offense, Jane Austen. <laughs> no, no, it's um, great because I feel like it just allows for this it allows for all the themes that were in the original book to be like heightened and even more brought out and the zombies are kind of like this symbol of the you know the underclass and uh, the whole i don't know i just feel like it meshes together really well and also these like jane austen wrote these amazing young women and these girls that were way ahead of their time and especially liz and jane and and so they're therefore putting them in a situation where they're the ones with swords and the ones on the front line it's a beautiful kind of progression yeah. yeah everybody's been talking about diversity in Hollywood and everything this week but I mean it goes for these type of roles too to mm. have these women heroine doing these strong roles do you mm. do you see these characters coming across your desk more in scripts where you're where these they have these strong women leads yeah I mean I I've been so. really lucky so far because I've, I've had a lot of like literary heroines who are so strong because they're from books and people have written great women yeah. but um, I think that it's not always the case in other yeah. scripts is it no, I know, that's what was so great about this, because not only was there, like, one, but there are, like, five really strong female, like, fighting mm, warriors. Mm, mm. And not only are they strong female fighters, but they're actually rescuing the men for once, which, I, you know, it was just a dream to be involved with. And saving Hertfordshire, the world. <laughs> yes, you do. I, I know in America it seems like we're we're revisiting these these themes of class and mm. what, what's going on for the election. Do you think that the same thing is happening in, in London and, and in Australia? You know, uh, is it a reflection of the world or is this more of an American thing right now where we're fighting these class systems again? I, th I think um, I think it's ex existing in cinema everywhere and that's mm -hmm. great. I think it's good to sort of shine light on what's know, going on. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, I really feel like it in this film because it does feel like the, the, the zombies are attacking the aristocracy. So it's like an uprising. You feel a rebellion coming. And so I think that's really interesting. Yeah. And those scripts are always, you know, truncated versions of stories. But when you have a, a Cinderella or a, a Pride and Prejudice as a background for uh, characters, does it help you at all, like, delve deeper into a character to have... These novels no, it's that, great to have like yeah. the source material. You have like your Bible you can go to and, mm. and mine for information, mine for resources about your character. Yeah, it's excellent. Yeah, it's endless. I mean, especially when it's Jane Austen giving you the thoughts and the ideas and the depth to the character. It's just, it was a gift. Yeah. yeah. And, and last question, on shooting at um, these locations, like when y'all weren't shooting, did you have any time to like just step out and visit the location? And what, what did you guys do if, if, if so? We we did a lot that was like freezing cold out in in the woods in in England and yeah. we'd be sort of like shivering and I don't feel like we stayed too because we'd 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 stay in London I mean we hung out uh, yeah. in London a bit but <laughs> for the locations it was just like oh, I just want to get home get warm yeah it was really cold and but we we wait, wait, where do we um, oh the, the our house was fun the Bennett the Bennett's house because that was yeah. like in the country and it was really beautiful and um, that was good to explore yeah yeah. 
There's cool locations though. We have yeah. some really great places. Well, I always love talking to you, Lily and Bella. Great, great job. Thank Can't you. Can't wait to see whatever you guys got coming up. Thank, Thank you. So much. Nice to Thank talk you. to you. Thanks again. Thank you.